Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the previous lesson, we discussed the meaning of the hash map data structure. However, in this lesson, we are going to code the hash map. And uh, we are going to, to walk through some lines of code to understand the concept. First of all, you need to import the Java uh, utilities package, where the hash map resides. For sure, you need to create a class. This name is test class. You need public static void main string args. We know we need this. Then we start creating that. To create a, a hash map, as before, we used to create a hash map without, without stating the set type and the list type. However, now, the, now it's strongly typed using generic, and it's really recommended that you state the type of the set data structure and the list data structure, the keys and the values. So I name it hash map, hash map, new hash map, string and double. You cannot say double as we say, say it before. I mean, you cannot use primitive data types in, in, data <coughs> in the collection framework. In fact, you need to use the wrapper instead. Then to put data inside it, it's very simple. Just say hash map, the name of the variable you have, or the object I mean, dot put. Uh, put you put a string and then a new double. A string and a new double, a string and a new double. You go like this. Going like this until you populate your hash map. We don't use add as we used to set in the set and in the list adding values. Instead, we use the, the put keyword. Yes. And once we finish adding the values, we could start experiencing the hash map by pulling out uh, the keys. I mean this set, this column, only this column. This is a column that has key values that are unique. So a set interface of string, I name it k set, hash map dot get the key set, okay, dot key set. Then you have it here. We, I use the, uh, the for each uh, uh, structure to loop it through the key set. So for each string s, in the cases, that is the key set, system.out.print line the S, and you get this out. As you can see here and here. By the way, the order is not important. I mean, you may not get this order once you print it. However, the association is always maintained. I mean, if you look for the key value Jane Baker, you will get this value as the double. But the order is not always maintained. And that's because of the set data structure. Now we have looped through the keys. We need to experience more in the hash map. <coughs> Let's create an array list. This time, we are using the array list. And we are populating the array list with the values. So the previous example, here, we get the keys this column only. However, now this example is getting the values. Hash map with values. <coughs> and then again, the same way we've done before, for each double value, R on the array list, loop and print the R. And that's your output here. You get the output. At the end, then, I bring the stars, and then we have this example here. For example, for the key Todd Hall, find the, uh, find, find the value. So I have a string, which I mean the key Todd Hall, and he is here in the data we populated before. You can see it, maybe I was fast on this, but this is it. So the value is 99.22. System.out, I use the git, and I give it the key. What is returned is the value. And that is where you see the output here, at this point. So if you have the key, you can get the value using the, the get command. And finally, to print everything, 
I, I get an I try, there is another way I mean you could do it by using the git by the way and print everything like you have the set here and loop through the set and get and print the keys and get the values but this is using the iterator, which is really recommended inside the Java collection framework for most of the data structures inside. I create an iterator for the keys, that is i, and get the key iterator, the key set iterator. The key set iterator, <coughs> I have it, that is called i. I need to hold every time a key, so I, I define the string k, while i dot has next which is the iterate, iterator theme. This is the way we, we run the iterator every way. While i dot has next, and next has next, then i dot next will get you the value and the value from the keys. So k has the key. And the key here is any one from this column. And then system dot out the print line key k, then value H, uh, hash map dot get k and here you get the key and the value pair and that is your output and thank you for listening if I have more about the about the hash map I'll be for sure booting but as an abstract uh, idea I think we cover some examples and and how to use it but later on we'll see lessons on how to apply the the use uh, uh, the hash map data structure and, uh, and other com and command patterns, actually. So uh, we'll see you uh, later. Thank you for listening.